What's up guys, GT here. So when it comes to alternate picking exercises, there is no shortage on the internet. In fact, we are quite lucky we have such an extensive plethora of knowledge to choose from. But in my opinion, the ones which are going to be more effective when it comes to alternate picking are the exercises which allow you to scan the breadth of the fretboard and not just go up and down across the six, six strings because when you're improvising you want to go across diagonally the fretboard whether you're going up or you're going down because that allows you to have more octaves and more range in your playing and that definitely doesn't sound cliched and doesn't sound very boxy in nature so in this video i'm going to be showing you an exercise which allows you to cover 12 frets across the fretboard no matter where you started from Keep in mind it's a chromatic exercise so you can't really use it diatonically but it's really effective in terms of getting coverage across the fretboard and not just moving up and down like you usually do in most of the exercises. But before we do that I want to give a quick round of applause and honorable mentions for this video. I haven't done this in a while so many thanks to Mauricio Baggini, Stefano Mai, Miguel Costa, Christian Petrascu, Dario Ventore for making a contribution towards the channel via my PayPal account. I'm extremely thankful guys. In case you want to help and make a contribution towards the channel, check the links in the description box below. It's simple and easy. And even if you can't do that, make sure you give this video a like and do consider subscribing. It's free, it doesn't cost you anything. And in return, you get all the content for free. All right, enough of that. Let's jump into the exercise. I'll show you what the exercise is, we'll do some tabs and I'll do a breakdown as well and explain to you why this exercise works so well. Alright, so we are up and close in the guitar and hopefully you can see all the frets and my fingers as well. I'm going to be using camera audio here because the audio doesn't matter. Hopefully you can follow along. This is how the exercise sounds. I am playing a distorted tone. There's no delay or nothing like that happening in that. So all you're hearing is the clean guitar sound. <laughs> All right, so as you can see, I started from the first fret and pretty much went down to the 13th fret, which is covering 12 frets, as I mentioned. It's covering three octaves as well, and then we made it all the way back to the second fret, kind of pretty much finished on the first fret itself. And you can do this again from the second fret, starting from the second fret if you want to, or from any given fret for that matter. Just don't start it above the 12th fret because otherwise you'll be running out of the octave spaces over there or the number of frets. So let's break this exercise down a bit and I'll show you how to do it. So what you want to do is start from the first fret. Let's start from the first fret and then you're going to play four notes, one, two, three, and four on the E string, the low E string. You play that and then what you're going to do is move to the next string, which is the A string and play the same four frets over there again. Keep in mind you're doing alternate picking all up and down movement and make sure you do a good amount of palm muting as well because that's going to restrict your movement to a wrist movement and not have you do the whole arm movement which we all have ended up doing when we started playing. So make sure you palm mute. It's really important. It's going to help you in getting that strict wrist movement. So one, two, three, four on the E and then one, two, three, four on the A. What you want to do next is go one step forward on the A string itself and play five, four, three, two, the way back. So you're going to play. So all the way now, right now, what we've got is. So that's pretty much the pattern actually. And what you can do is repeat this pattern by moving one fret forward while you're going down. So now you go to this third fret and play the same pattern again on the A string and the D string. So you'll play. So all the way from the beginning. And then you do the same thing on the same string, the D string again, and move on to the G string. As you can see, we're progressing each fret and what's, what's really helpful is that you're shifting your hand as well as you're moving. What that will help you in doing is playing, you know, when you play patterns like this. So this kind of stuff is really helpful in achieving you 
doing that because you're moving your fingers along the way as you're playing and that creates a lot of help in your left hand and right hand synchronization i cannot stress this enough in alternate picking left hand and right hand synchronization is really really important so if you play it all the way with tabs this is how it sounds <laughs> Also notice that I was accenting every uh, note when I was hitting the beat. This is something that you can always do. It doesn't matter how you break down the beat, you can use a metronome and you can you know, actually emphasize a particular note by hitting it harder. What that's going to do is create that muscle memory in your brain and make your playing a lot more tighter and make you come on the click every time you want to you know, hit that note. So make sure you emphasize that note when you're playing. All right, so that's the way down. Now let's look at the way up. So we reached the 13th fret. When you reach the 13th fret, you straight away want to go backwards. So you want to go like this. So you're going to play 13, 12, 11, 10 on the E string. And then the same thing on the B string. And similarly, like we did while going down, we're going to go one fret behind instead of going one fret up and then play the same thing play the forward motion in this case because we're playing the reverse motion when we were coming down. So we're going to do this. So that's the pattern you're going to follow while coming up back again. So and then one fret behind you got to move because we were moving one fret forward while coming down. So that's the pattern you can follow all the way back up and that's going to help you in coming back all those octaves that you traversed while going down and when you're coming up now you're going to reach back on the second fret so play it slowly so you can start this pattern anywhere on the fretboard you like uh, another important thing to keep in mind is that when you're doing this practice with the metronome, play at a speed which is comfortable to your hand. You know, we as guitar players, in fact, even me, we try to boost up the tempo and we're always chasing that dream tempo of, you know, 5000 BPM. <laughs> but let your ego guard down and reduce the tempo if you're feeling any sort of tension in your hand. I believe that this exercise is very helpful in building stamina and I would look at it more as something which can help you really improve your alternate picking technique rather than help you in building real good speed. Uh, the good part about this exercise is that you're doing four notes on each string so it's really helpful from that perspective that you're getting maximum coverage in terms of your fingers and in terms of the number of notes you're picking. But keep in mind that the idea is not to go really fast and to play really fast. In fact, I don't even practice it that way. Choose a tempo which you're comfortable in and choose a tempo which if you feel tension at any point during halfway of the exercise, reduce the tempo a bit by 10 BPM or 8 BPM. Don't be shy, do it and you will see the benefits of the exercise happening in the long run because you will be building more stamina and you will be building more accuracy and also left hand and right hand coordination as I mentioned earlier is the most important thing. So once again the whole exercise with tabs on screen this is how it sounds. <laughs> So that's pretty much what the exercise is guys, it, as I mentioned, practice this on a slower tempo and enhance your alternate picking technique and your speed gradually and if you want to make this a little more interesting and a little more challenging, you can even try to start your picking on an up note. So instead of starting with a down stroke, start your exercise with the up stroke. That way you're stepping out of your comfort zone and challenging yourself to do something which is not in your comfort zone and that way you will 
even get better results if you do it in the long run. So hopefully this has been helpful. Make sure you give this a video a like and let me know in the comments what you think about this exercise and if there are other exercises you would like me to cover. I use this exercise quite a lot in my daily routine and it has helped me a lot in my alternate picking games. So until I see you guys in the next video, make sure you guys stay safe, keep rocking guys. Cheers, bye bye.